All right, what's going on there, folks? Uh, once again, Earthmaster here on the live stream, May 21st, 2021, the correct date, about 9.44 a.m. Some uh, pretty good, sizable uptick in earthquake activity wrapping up over the last couple hours here. Uh, pretty good size 6.1 magnitude quake, followed up by some pretty moderate aftershocks here around the China area. And just recently, just a couple minutes ago, a 5.8 striking a little bit further to the west. We've been watching this trail of earthquake activity stretch throughout the Indonesia area, uh, all the way uh, through the region up through China now, kind of stretching over towards the uh, southwest from there, just kind of making its way uh, around the globe in this beautiful uh, plate tectonic uh, action, so to speak. Uh, looking at a little bit more detailed map shows that earthquake activity. Uh, there's the six pointer up here, 6.1 to be exact, pretty uh, shallow earthquakes. Um, right around China, definitely uh, shaking things up there quite a bit. Not for sure of any specific damage, but uh, definitely a sizable quake there at pretty uh, pretty shallow depth there. Also a 5.8 over here around the Carlsberg Ridge, Mid-Indian Ridge. That's uh, been kind of showing some activity over the last couple weeks here just off the coast of... Uh, of uh, Africa region to the east. That one uh, looks like about 10 kilometers or so uh, below the surface for that 5.8. Overall pretty active a day here folks over the last 24 hours. You can see the uh, major uptick in earthquake activity stretching from uh, as I mentioned over here around Fiji all the way around. Actually if you look at the entire Pacific Ring of Fire here in the northern and northwestern area we're looking at a major uptick in pressure gradients to the west here pushing everything kind of doing its little thing uh to the west i'm not going to go into specifics of which plate moves which um we've gone over that quite a few times actually and there's quite a few good maps uh, uh and and whatnot on any search browser uh if you want to look at plate dynamic uh, movement uh, certain stresses and whatnot that each plate creates on one another uh, but today looking at this general activity here we're looking you can almost make an arrow out of this right in a way all pointing due west here and that's kind of where we're looking at all the activity take place today north american continent kind of kind of quieting down but not completely overall it's pretty active um, over the last 24 hours you can see that uh, movement throughout the indonesia area uh, over here Stretching all the way back to the east through Papua New Guinea. Um, Solomon Islands getting in on some action and also some further deep, large scale. Well, not super large, but uh, very deep movement. 640 kilometers. I mean, it's. I don't think it gets any deeper than that. Uh, I can't remember the, ex the exact uh, measurement of the deepest earthquake I've ever seen. Uh, I think it was somewhere around 670, somewhere around there. But still, 640? Yeah, that's about, uh, it's pretty deep. Um, so yeah, that's uh, not a major player. I mean, not a major magnitude, but definitely a major player when it comes to putting things into motion here uh, in the plate dynamic uh, activity. Uh, let's see, what do we got? North American continent real quick. Uh, not a whole lot going on for the 2.5 and above, folks. We are looking at some movement uh, scattered throughout the North American continent. You have to go down to the uh, microquake level. But even then, things are kind of minimal at the moment there in the states. Chile kind of kind of quieting down as well, folks. Uh, we've seen this numerous times here. When, whenever we see some major movement along the western uh, section over here, things tend to quiet down here. But uh, as we make our way further west here uh, with this 5.8, we could start seeing things really ramp up uh, once again here as the uh, plates and the movement general uh, shift of the plates uh, transition back over uh, to the west, further west towards the North American uh, plate section there, which includes a whole lot more than just uh, United States, Mexico, and, and uh, North America, uh, Canada area. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? Puerto Rico kind of, kind of, I don't know, a little quiet for now. We did see a little bit of movement further up here towards the Puerto Rico trench area. This is a significant area to watch for uh, some large scale movement. So far, we haven't seen anything major on that. Let's hope that holds off because that would not be uh, that would not paint a pretty picture there in that region. 
All right, folks, uh, just looking pretty active today. I think it's going to be pretty busy. I will be uh, here off and on on the live stream, kind of monitoring things. Hold on one second here. All right, folks, have a good day. We will chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there.